Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your weekly love life for January 2023, kind of like a snapshot to the January Love Monthly I did for you already. I'm gonna be pulling a nine card spread, see who comes through for you romantically this week, find out how they truly feel about you, what their intentions are towards you, and what their next actions are gonna be. Now, Taurus, if you're in a recent no contact situation where you haven't heard from your person in say a few days, a few weeks and you're curious about what they're thinking at this time I will pull a hidden message at the end of the reading to find out what they're thinking and feeling about you and the situation overall okay but for everybody else let's do this spirit what do we have for Taurus today for their romantic love life for the week of January 2023 Taurus nine card spread for Taurus who are they connecting to how does this person truly feel about Taurus, deep down, what's their feelings? One more shovel. Let's rock this deck for my terrific Taurians. First card out is the Page of Pentacles. Now, pages are messengers. So you're getting a message from somebody this week and it feels very sincere, it feels very genuine. For some of you, this could be a friend that might want more with you, or if it's someone already romantically linked to you, th this is someone that wants to meet up with you. This is my coffee date card. Every time I see this card, I can picture someone being like, hey Taurus, you wanna meet up for coffee on Sunday? What, what are you up to? All right, someone likes you. Page of Swords, yeah, you're getting a message. You're getting a message. This always reminds me of a text message or some sort of email, something with the internet with that quill being here um, that is involving a meetup. This person wants to meet up with you this week, right? Um, but for some of you, you might also get a traditional letter from this person in the mail if you live at a distance. They might be wanting to talk to you and reveal something to you, but they want to do it in a letter, okay? But this is definitely a message coming for you, Taurus, all right? Someone may be keeping an eye on you right now, especially if you are, you know, limited due to distance. They're watching your social media, perhaps, but this is someone that's very curious about you because the page of swords is someone that is hungry for information this person wants to know some information from you the information that they are wanting you can re you know give to them and it feels like them asking you out on a date that's they want to know how you feel about that okay could be a earth sign like you or a air sign ace of pentacles taurus you got someone that's coming in with a stable love offer I love the Ace of Pentacles because it's secure. It's not something flighty like the Ace of Wands could be. You know, when the Ace of Wands comes in as an offer, that's somebody that's wanting to have a fun weekend, you know, but then what happens after that? Not much. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is someone making a plan for the future and they want more of you in it, okay? There's more roots that come out of this one seed. That Page of Pentacles is this seed. Someone wants to start something with you. Now, if you've been talking to this person for a, a while, this is someone that's finally getting all the information that they need about you to know whether or not you guys have a chance to have a long-term future together. But if this is someone brand new in your life, they are moving kind of slow because they want to know as much about you first before they give their self to you, right? This is someone that's taking you very seriously, Taurus. They don't rush. Earth energy does not rush at all. Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's someone coming in with great love for you or it's going to develop over time from a little baby seed. Once more information is shared about yourself, that seed develops into a, a new beginning and love starts to become a theme where this person is more open and vulnerable with you and shares their true feelings now anytime i see the queen of cups it feels like mutual love so the love is going to be gradually developing equally you both are both going to feel this right four pentacles wow okay something is becoming very stable there's the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is that person that's carrying this pentacle to deliver it to you there, there's someone that takes their sweet time, right? Because this is someone that they don't like to mate for a short term. 
You know, they don't like short-lived relationships. This is someone that's like, hey, if I'm gonna be in a relationship with you, I definitely want it to last more than three months, so I'm not gonna rush. I don't care what anyone else says, I'm not rushing. And they're seeing something inside of you that they like a lot, and they are a perfectionist. The Knight of Pentacles is a perfectionist when it comes to their romantic partners. They are the type of person that if you've got a weird looking toe, they're gonna scratch you off. <laughs> I'm being for real. This is a very picky person, the Knight of Pentacles. If your ears don't match in length, they're gonna be like, I don't know about this. Taurus, can you wear your hair in a different way? You know, it's someone that is, you know, picking someone apart. That might be something that annoys you about this person. I'm getting a quirk about this person that will annoy you. But with that Queen of Cups energy, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of compassion for this person and patience with this person and you guys are going to learn to uh, love each other for who you are as people and this person's going to you know start to shed some of those picky traits you know it, it, it's natural to be like that in the early stages of getting to know somebody you know I one time broke up with someone because they couldn't stop scraping their teeth with a fork they would go eat their spaghetti and you hear that scrape anyway you know, we all have our own little things that we don't like to negotiate on a connection. But anyway, so you have someone that's coming towards you and they're coming to you slow as molasses, but it's, it's because they're not looking for a short-term mate. They're looking for someone that they can marry you know, and I don't know about you, but you know, if I'm wanting to marry somebody, I want to know everything about that person so I don't have any surprises after I do. You know, people can hide crazy underneath the carpet for a few months, like Amy Schumer says. You know, this person wants to make sure that what they're learning about you is everything that you say you are and that there, there's no hidden agendas. So I feel like you both are trying to figure each other out. You both are like in this interview process with that page of swords where you both are trying to figure out if you guys are who you say you are together. You're both doing it, it feels like, okay? There could be an age difference here, just a slight age difference. Um, Whoa, all of a sudden my hands are shaking, what the heck? So someone may be dealing with some anxiety about this letter or this message that's coming in, and you see how that, that, that ink looks kind of squiggly? Your person might be nervous about opening up about their feelings, right? I mean, I've had just a little bit of coffee, so my hands should not be shaking, but it feels like you might have someone that is wanting to say some things, wants to ask you a specific question, but they're scared to ask you. They have something to tell you and they're scared, it feels like. Maybe that question they feel like would be the, the you know, the question that makes you not want to talk to them anymore. It's like they really want to ask you a really tough question that some people would be like, how dare you ask me that question? But they feel like they have to ask you because they need to know it in order to take the relationship to the next level, right? It, it feels like one of those questions that they are getting ready to ask you that could make or break whether they see a marriage with you in the future, you know? It, 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 that's a specific message for somebody out there or you're doing this to them Taurus right the roles can be reversed if you're watching this video going no Badison I'm the one that's about to ask them some questions because there's something I need to know then this could definitely be you being you know picky about your partners I mean I've got a Taurus moon I am the slowest to commit because I want to know every little nook and cranny about you so I don't have any surprises you know after like locking something down you know, you don't want to get married to someone and then find out that they did 10 years in, you know, a prison. <laughs> you want to know everything. And I'm strongly getting that. But somebody here is seeing so much value in you. They're holding on to this connection. And the more that they hold on, the more that they, they want to just like, someone's taking you serious. But they're having trouble telling you that they are taking this serious. So they're going to find ways of asking certain questions to see um, how you respond and that will give them the green light to be like, all right, Taurus is the one for me. I'm gonna let them know how I feel, right? Three more cards. The Knight of Cups, just when I said they're gonna let you know how they feel, the Knight of Cups comes up. So you've got someone that is seeing a future with you, Knight of Pentacles, taking their time though, but also someone that's romantically falling in love with you. I am getting an age difference though. Whether you're the older one or the younger one, I do feel an age difference. Okay, and for some of you, this person may live at a distance where they have to travel to see you um, and they're making a plan to come visit, but they have to make plans accordingly or they have to move closer to you. 
but I'm strongly getting where you both have deep romantic love for each other, but one person is a little bit more like, you know, nervous to be vulnerable and expressive, whereas one is like, hey, I'm born ready to reveal my feelings. I'm not afraid, right? This person doesn't know how to tell you this, tell you how they feel, tell you that they want more, tell you that they want a serious relationship with you. Um, you've got a nervous Nilly on your hands. Let me get two more cards and then I'll pull the overall. The lovers is in your outcome position, Taurus. Major for Gemini. You are gonna be in a relationship this year, it feels like. If it doesn't happen in January, because Slow Pokey over here is choosing the geriatric horse instead of the faster horse to get to you with this offer, you're, you're building something with somebody that over the year is going to blossom into something long term. You guys might get into a relationship with this person in Gemini season, around your birthday, after your birthday. No, Gemini season is, yeah, after Taurus. So you might be talking to someone in January in that talking stage and then February starts to get more romantic, Pisces energy, because the Knight of Cups is Pisces energy. So around February, Valentine's Day, if you celebrate, things could get more romantic. Then in Gemini season, that romantic vibe turns into, hey, would you like to commit to me vibe? And then, you know, Cancer season, love is there. Love is undeniable. Let me get another card. Your advice is the magician. With the advice being the magician, this is all about speaking what you want into existence, telling the universe who you want, who you don't want, and making space for that person. So for example, Taurus, if you're single right now and you don't really have anyone that you're talking to, or you are talking to someone and you're hoping that it turns into something more, start making space for that person in your life as if it's already happening, within reason, of course. For example, if you're a chick and you're into dudes, Maybe go to your medicine cabinet and scooch all your feminine products to the left and make space for masculine products to take up. If you like to hog the bed, um, maybe get used to picking one side so you have room for someone to cuddle you on the other side. You know, manifest that into existence and law of assumption will make it happen quicker. All right, some of you guys could be manifesting generators if you look at the human design but I'm getting strong Gemini energy. And Gemini is the planet, um, Gemini is the zodiac sign that connects to communication and thoughts. Your thoughts, communication, really will bring something quicker if it's not here already. What's your overall energy, Taurus? 10 of Wands. So some of you may feel like your love life is leaving you kind of exhausted, um, where you're just like, hunched over and just being like, oh, the dating pool has been peed in. It's all gonna change. You just, you need to release people, places, and things that don't serve you anymore, so that way you can attract people, places, and things that are built to last a very long time. 10 plus years, 10 of pentacles. So let me get a couple clarifiers. But you do have, you've got, you've got somebody here. I open up the deck to the Queen of Wands and the Empress. You know, for some of you, there's two different people here. I mean, I do have four, no, five court cards. Five court cards to me oftentimes can represent more than um, one person showing up in a reading. But I feel like what I'm getting here is you've got someone that is adopting different ways of approaching this connection with you and they're evolving and they're showing you different sides of them, right? Because we have more than just our sun sign and our birth chart. This person could be a Virgo sun, Cancer moon, Pisces rising, Gemini Mars, and Virgo Mercury, you know? It's just telling me that this person makes up a lot more than what you're thinking. So if you're listening out for a zodiac sign specifically, it's, it's not about the zodiac sign because we all have all of it in our house system somewhere. But I do have the hermit. So if there is someone that you're talking to right now and they're being kind of quiet, someone's coming out of hiding. And if you're doing this to somebody, it looks like you're the one coming out of hiding with that hermit energy. And for those of you who are single and haven't met anybody yet, they're showing me you coming out of, you know, hermit mode from being single for a bit or healing from something and somebody comes into your life. But that's beautiful. That's my favorite ace. So I'm going to dig into that a little bit more. 
please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way, Taurus. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of this video. Why the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Four of Swords, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, just some, you might have someone coming from your past. That's only gonna be for some of you. If you don't want anyone from your past, just block that number so that you don't have to read it. But for those of you who are open to someone from your past and there's someone special in your life that maybe things just didn't develop, Page of Pentacles, they're wanting to come back around. Maybe they were going through something and they need a little bit of a break. All right, Knight of Cups is here, Knight of Cups. But if you're not looking for anyone from your past, this could be implying that you might still need time to release a past situation before this person can come in with something serious or this person is releasing a past situation. That could be, that could be what I'm getting. Can I get a card on that Knight of Pentacles? But your outcome is what I'm looking at. Your Knight of Cups in the Lover's card is your outcome with somebody here. And your advice is the Magician. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Why the Knight of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles. This person is connecting to a lot of earth energy for you. And earth energy is long lasting. Think of earth energy as this rock. Once it tumbles down a hill and finds a spot, it stays there for thousands of years, even amidst chaos of thunderstorms and things like that. Someone coming in very fiery and passionate, it starts and just ends just as quick as it starts. It burns out, it can't sustain its life support. Um, so you've got someone that's coming towards you that is built to last a long time. You may not have met this person yet with that moon energy because this connects to Neptune, the planet of hidden, you know, what's in your subconscious. But for others, you might have someone that hasn't revealed their feelings to you yet and they're about to, all right? I strongly have someone coming through here that has something to say to you. They don't know how to tell you. I keep on getting that. So let me get a hidden, oh wait, I want to clarify that lovers in the Knight of Cups and then I'm going to get the hidden message. Can I get a card on that Knight of Cups and the Lovers for Taurus's outcome this week? Yeah, there's definitely somebody here for you that you already know. But again, for my single Taurians, um, you've got somebody if you just keep on like making space for it. Just love up on yourself in the time being. Why the Lovers to the Knight of Cups? Queen of Wands, could be a fire sign. Uh, two of Pentacles, Temperance, someone that you gotta be very patient with. Knight of Pentacles, Okay, someone coming to you with an offer, had to be very slow. The star, someone keeping faith that something's going to work out. We got a hopeful person coming towards you. But I am getting like a picky perfectionist, or that's you, Taurus, and you may be picking this person apart. <laughs> um, I've been there, no shade, I don't judge anybody. Uh, for zodiac signs, even though I don't feel like it's that important for the person that you're coming towards, but I do have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio strongly in this reading. I have Gemini, Virgo. Those are the main ones, okay? Hit a message for the one on Taurus's mind, please. And then I'll pull an Ocean Whisperer. I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. So someone on your mind is feeling lost and they don't know what to do about it. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. That could be what this Four of Pentacles is referencing. Someone hasn't let you go. My heart always comes back to you even though I don't want it to. So let me get a Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. So, of course, this is a very beautiful love reading. Ah, shoot. All right, well, I'll take that card that forced its way out of my hands. All right. Clearing the excess, ooh, I got a cramp, thanks Taurus. Clearing the excess number 18, you are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter, whether it is in your physical body or your physical space. That's the ton of wands. If you got an ex that keeps on coming and going, maybe stop the coming and going. Um, go cold turkey, no contact on that person, or if you've got players that come in just wanting what you have to offer and they don't give you anything in return, release that, all right? Um, but I am strongly getting that I have a Taurus here that's got some new stuff. Number five, change direction with ease. This is a time for change, shape shifting or your soul's evolution. It is time to reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a surprise. What you want may be different than what you need. All right, so I hope this reading helps. I love you, Taurus. If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. Later, Gators.